blessed love and peace in Rastafari. So one of the joints for today is low price, high value. What that mean? People talk about the high value. Uh, high value. Low price, high value. What that mean? Does that sound familiar? Like two seconds ago. Here we go. The streets done got me for my football. This afternoon, today, I decided to do some of the it's Vesak, first of all. This is this is the commemoration of the birth, enlightenment, and nibbana of the Buddha. It's a day of rest, of mindfulness. I'm violating that by doing studies. I haven't done my prayer of meditation, and I feel that the absence. They done got me for my football. So instead of doing the studies and and working on completing some things and getting getting that off the mind so that there's further concentration on distancing from the static that is picking up here and it's and, and now it's it's like quiet static um, meaning like concentrated intentional low key but intentional concentrated so um, distancing from that the necessity of interacting with that because it's increasingly uh, aggressive it, and by that I mean visiting inviting itself rather than responding to visitation so recognizing that just understanding that um, uh, amidst that I decide haha instead of doing the studies here in the in the domicile where I stay uh, I do it out here in the the openness of the public right here in the village And um, same thing, same work, but being out uh, to talk with people. So as I do that, I bring the football because it's Wednesday. It's the football day. So I bring the football with the intention of bringing it here to the park and kicking it around someone. I set up. I do, so I do work. Um, it starts to rain somewhat. I didn't know if you were going to the library. I didn't know if you were going to the library, but it's closed. Oh, it is? Yeah. I didn't mean to, for you to go through. I didn't know if you were going to go to the shops or anything like that. I would have told you before that, but yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just let me know. You're welcome. If you need to catch the Wi Fi or whatever, it's still available, but other than that, it's closed. Oh, okay. Thanks for All right, me you're know. welcome. Peace and blessings to you. I'll share something with you. It looks like it's still on. It acts like it's still on. I can't tell if it's still on. I'm not going to record if it's not still on. What I can do is the video might just be what it is. But we're going to record the very, 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 very verbal. Oh, what? I didn't make sure. Funga, munga. It's done. the verbal of this and see what happens we actually might be able to call it call it the, uh, whatever we'll just do this here we go so we're continuing on the joint uh, I was talking about them the streets got me for my football so I was out on, on the village corner uh, doing the, the, the work the studies um, outside in the open rather than doing it at home in the desk at the domicile on the desk um, now I bring the football with me because it is Wednesday. It's the day of football here, Cuyahoga FC. Um, and in doing that, uh, do the studies. Eventually, it rains somewhat. 
Um, and it gets to the point I need to close up the computer, put it in the bag, close up the books, put it in the bag, and just wait it out because it's, it looks like it's going to be a, just a, a, a brief period. So that's what I do. Now, I actually also fold up the chair um, and uh, so that it won't get all wet as I stand and wait to, for the rain. Now, when I do that, I abstain from noticing that there's no football underneath the chair, um, that the football is gone. Peace and blessings to you. The football is gone. Um, it didn't occur to me at that moment. Um, <coughs> not usual experience <coughs> with having the, uh, the, the this chair out here. So, um, go on and continue there for another few hours. Three or four probably. Talked with a number of people. Got up again when it started raining again. Didn't notice it and got back out. Now then when I'm wrapping up the studies, getting ready to go, uh, then I pick up the chair, pick up my bag, and I'm like, whoa, wait a minute, I don't have the football. Ha ha, wait a minute, I've been not had the football. How about that? Now, one of two things, basically. One is that even before I picked up the chair, um, and actually probably haven't before that because when I picked up the chair, I was looking right there, so I would have seen the football like uh, skeet out of the uh, underneath. So that it's not, that's not when it happened, now that I think about it. Uh, it either happened, it happened before that, so one of basically two ways. One. It just kind of um, uh, scooted out on its own with me like moving around in the chair and then kind of like just flailed off and then started rolling out. That's less likely because um, I generally would have seen it out of my periphery um, and it likely would have been around anyways uh, at some point nearby. Even after a number of hours, somebody probably would have said something about it seeing it nearby. Um, now, that's one scenario. The other scenario is someone snuck up from behind me that's probably actually what happened. Snuck up from behind me. That's actually now that I think about it, because there was somebody who snuck up and talked to me, but he d usually doesn't talk to me. Sees me all the time, doesn't talk to me. Today, talked to me. But doesn't ha didn't have the football with them. Maybe just maybe did the uh, pushing it itself out, because there are ongoing hostilities, and that's part of the, trans the transgressions that I talked about before. Um, that kinfolk is, is connected with that. So interesting, mindfulness with that. And it would be the type of little um, picky unish kind of um, uh, aggressions uh, that would be uh, typical for the, the interaction at the moment uh, amidst the previous inter interactions and, and uh, occasions. So anyways, it's one of those two things. But all the, the only person I have to blame, the only person I have to get mad at, if I get mad at all, is myself uh, for lack of attentiveness um, and, and additionally. So it, um, all that being said, the streets got me for, for my ball, for my football. Anyways, all right, that being said, low price, high value. The consideration is that there is a price on me at the moment um, by a number of different factions, syndicates, what we call them. Um, and for different reasons, contrary reasons, conflicting reasons, um, and part of like the this is this is gang on the street. This is this is gang for the street. So in that scenario of a price being on a person's head, one of the uh, inclinations or one of the typical reactions is try to get bigger, and and like try to respond to that and try to overpower whoever is putting that price on somebody. That price could be assassination. That price could just be intimidation and 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 and, and obstruction and, and sabotage and, and all different types of stuff. Um, and there are all different types of prices for all, on me for all different types of stuff too. Distraction, um, in ta uh, um, antagonisms and and uh, just provocations and, uh, and and stuff like that. Um, so a number of different things. One of the reactions in those tactics is to try to get bigger, to try to respond to that, to overthrow, overpower those whoever's who's whoever's making those prices, whoever is giving those contracts. Um, there's a fallacy with that though. Oh, that might be a grasshopper. Oh, they got skills, like s nasty skills. Like sideways skills, like literally laterally, sideways, like not even playing sideways. 
Get out. Anyway, all right. A lot of debris is uh, is uh, occurring today. The winds and the seasons changing from spring to summer. Seeds of different sorts. All right. Um. So. Ah, da, 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 da. I don't think this video is actually gonna return, but anyway, doesn't again doesn't matter that much. All right, we're talking about game for the street. So uh, the reaction is to get bigger. One of the reactions is to get bigger, uh, and then all the different tactics of getting bigger, all the techniques, all the different methodologies of getting better, bigger. Whether it's intensifying the game, whether it's selling things out and, and, and consolidating into the to the uh, aggressive tools whether it's uh, coordinating and, and, and allying and allegiances and, and that type of stuff, all the different types of ways of getting bigger, whether it's studying the game, uh, improving oneself, hitting the weight room, whatever, all different types of game for getting bigger. That's not the scenario here. That's not what we're doing. It's not a matter of getting bigger because ain't no getting bigger in this game. Uh, it, it, that's contrary to the game. That's actually one of the challenges. Um, so... Uh, what we doing and, and, and in that in that in that process of getting bigger let me just say this god willing in that process of getting bigger one actually puts a higher price in one's head because one acquires things whether again it's the tools it's it's whatever uh the stakes get higher and so the price gets higher for what somebody's self and and and, and there's always somebody who who's has the the has an has a uh, has is in the capacity of of fulfilling that price of making that price of fulfilling that contract and accepting that price and so the g getting bigger and getting a bigger price on, on somebody's self is not a um is not a deterrent it's not, oh i shouldn't say a deterrent it's not a uh, it's not a fail safe it's not a um a protection against anybody who's, who's the button pusher or whatever else of accepting that contract and accepting that price so it don't matter how big the price is. There's always there's always somebody who's in that in that market. Um, so the one one like maybe common logic would be well the bigger the price is the fewer people that can do that. And so if somebody thinks they know everybody in the market who could actually take that price and, and accept that, then they can like, do things to 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 like protect against those particular ones that have that capacity. That's one logic, but it's also somewhat fallacy because you never know who is in that market, who's going to step up into that market, who's coming from outer markets or whatever else. So that's one thing. The other thing, uh, well, that's basically it. So that's not that's not a fail safe either. Um, now, the other, the coinciding logic is that if one's price is low, anybody can do it. All different types of cats can do it. Um, yes, however, That's what we're talking about when we talk about low price. So let's get into that logic, and, and we can go further into like who, who's in the market for the low price. So in this methodology of, of low price, and this is not this is not the intention. Like this is not why we do this. Is this is just how we do this, and explaining it in street terms. Um, but the low price, high value is meaning like whatever whatever beef people have with me or with bullshit beef, because nobody has a legitimate beef against me. You know, as, as I've said before, the only people on this earth, in this life, on this earth, who have a legitimate beef with me, uh, are people, are the relatives and in, in, in the in sister who I've, uh, who I've treated disrespectfully. Those are the only people on, on this earth, in this life, that have any type of legitimate beef with me. Literally, nobody else on in this on this earth has any legitimate beef with me, and with us, uh, because. Well, I'm not going to get to the explanation. Nobody on this earth has a legitimate beef with me and with us. So that's that's facts. Now, that being said, don't mean people don't contrive things and get jealous and fearful and angry and, and whatever else and, 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 and try to do it anyways. That's on them because they, 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 they have to work out their own type of stuff. Um, so... That's part of what we mean by having a low price because ain't no reason for somebody to do anything intentionally 
specifically towards I and I. That's first. Um, low price, high value. Let's talk about high value very quickly because that's very logical and it's very kind of common sense. High value means that you're contributing something that's of high value to the world, to people, to life. So make sure continually to provide high value to life as much as you can. Whatever you're given, whatever you're given in terms of fuel, nutrition, positive energy, support, companionship, whatever that is, to do something that's very valuable for others. Studies, teaching, sharing, cleaning, whatever it is, be high value, share high value. Um, and that is that is the guidance so that's continuing regardless of what the price is or otherwise be high value share high value now and, and, and with that the world the world not don't worry about society or markets or anything else the world supports you supports us in that high value so that's that's the joint um, and that's that's continually so that's high value always be high value whatever we're provided be high value not not the whole um, class and varna and caste and, and, and socioeconomic apartheid context, but be high value in terms of the well-being of people, of life, the vibrancy, the vibration, high value, positive energy. So that's high value. Now low price means this: anybody who takes beef, who has who, who takes issue and, and wants to have beef with somebody, any for any reason. Low the pro be low price, be low budget, low budget, low budget. Um, and in being genuinely low budget, even though all types of cats can accept that price for causing badness, for causing harm, whether that's sabotage, whether that's distraction, whether that's threatening, whether that's actually assassination. All different types of cats can take that price if there's a contract and instead of being a ten million dollar contract on somebody's life it's a one hundred dollar contract on somebody's life whoa anybody could take that but at the same time why would somebody take that why would somebody take a one hundred dollar contract on somebody's life get a hundred bucks and then be subject to all the consequences of that accordingly so a hundred bucks uh, but that's that's low price low budget anybody can take that thing anybody can take that joint but what's the point what's the value of that uh, the hot the ten million dollar cat ain't going to be taking that contract for that um, and further so um, in in part of the part of the rationale like uh, tangible is to make this make sense better uh, in a tangible sense part of being the low budget and low price is not having things so when people when, when we're talking about uh, gang assassination it, it, it's nonsensical it just always happens it's called nonsensical it's always just street that's the, just the street so when you stay away from that people can't say that and and then people have to say oh it's just a, a, a bystander rest than the other that's one thing when it's an economic assassination usually it doesn't happen all directly or whatever else but even in that sense there are pretenses usually it happens in an indirect way it's an accident oh they got sick uh, no, nobody knows what happened, Jimmy Hoffa, or whatever else. Those are economic type of, uh, economic, like, uh, Jimmy Hoffa is a little bit different than economic, but I'm talking about corporate, I'm talking about, like, community, whatever else. That's economic. Political, we can talk about, like, Kingston kind of type stuff. Um, it's increasingly direct. I'm getting off topic. Uh, all right, so, low budget. <laughs> Focus, concentration, food, finishing this joint. There's a lot of things going on. There's a lot of open-ended uh, projects and assignments. And so my mind is in a number of different uh, directions. So uh, focusing on this. My point for saying, saying all of the different scenarios is that when somebody is not, when somebody is perceived as a political uh antagonist or something along those lines a civilizational antagonist even there's no there's no genuine reason for assassinating that person um, peace and blessings brother
What's going on? All right. So we're we're just in. We, um, did you? I I gave you my email, yeah. I got yeah I got you. Because right, we we have the list. We have an initial list. We talked before about the football mm -hmm. matches and stuff like that. So we're 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 we still do the things Monday nine and nine to twelve. Mm -hmm. Um and we I shared I put an email to some kin folk about and this list. Actually, I said I shared with the Raphael as well. Okay. Uh, yeah. You yeah. know Raphael? Yeah. I think I think you were there when we were, we were, yeah. when we were by. So, um, but it's it's a list of, of names of players, mm -hmm. uh, names of clubs and teams, uh, and and suggestions about initial suggestions about classic matches as I mentioned to you yeah, before. Yeah. Um, and so uh, the the objective is to get a, a, like a working list of a hundred players, a hundred teams, a hundred clubs, and then a hundred matches. Mm -hmm. And then from those hundred matches, establish a schedule. Yeah. Of, of looking at those matches and studying and like comparing notes and talking about that mm -hmm. and and uh, building so um, it gets further specific in terms of like I told you before like looking at premieres of like when the first pl match that Messi played in or mm -hmm. classicos or, or derbies that were or ch classic championship matches or finals uh, those type of things but also like learning about like a, a, a Hall of Fame player who played a specific position and then doing a study like a particular match where he just stood on a corner yeah. about how to be yeah, that position. Yeah. And then teaching people, children, youth, elders. There's a lot of older brethren, my age and older, who want to learn about football, but have an ego and don't want to like learn in front of like others. Yeah, I because because yeah. but at the same time they know, yo, the world is doing this thing. Yeah. There's a lot of opportunity in terms of jobs and economics. Oh yeah. But I just don't know the game. Yeah. I know how basketball works in and out. I yeah. put people on the basketball camps all day. Mm -hmm. I don't know how this game of football works. So it's a matter of having a forum for those kin folk. Yeah. Of, of, of studying and, and applying that same genius in the sport of football. Do you know uh, Jimmy at uh, uh, Focus Tattoo? I don't think I ever. I'm, I might have like a while ago, but yeah, like I don't know how long ago. I feel like I met him even when I was at like Eastside Grog Shop. Okay, but yeah, because I, I mean you're 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 part of the village. He's part of the village too. Mm -hmm. um, but there might be different circles of people walking or, or, or whatever. But. I mean, he goes to hype with me from back in the day. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I've been talking to him about this project, and he's interested. And so everybody's got their constituency with them. So we're working to like, bring that constituency together. Uh, but anyways, that, that I shared that list, the initial list, and I'm inviting some folks to like give their responses, put some add to the list, and then get that forming. And as that's forming, then we're starting discussion. And then so then with that discussion, then we start the viewing process and, and, and that schedule. So Perfect. Mondays 9 to 12 is how we still continue. Okay. Um, and, and, and yeah, that's uh, cool. I th I'm usually off Monday, so. Okay. Perfect. Right, I'm going to go. Oh, I got I to gotta get to the restroom. And then I'm going back, so I'm going to go water those trees that I planted, man. There we they go. They need it. I hear you. They need it. How's prices doing? Who knows, man. What? <laughs> She's probably fine, but man, okay. I was babysitting her that day. I was like, oh, geez. I hear you. I hear you. Peace and blessings, bro. All right. So we're continuing with the verbal recording, the audio, or the video recording. For supposedly it's continuing on, but we'll see about that. Um, I was talking about the game. I was talking about low budget. I was talking about... Um, uh, did, 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 uh, incentives, motivation for people. I was talking about pretenses so when somebody's like walking a righteous path or whatever and is seen as a as a as a, uh, as a uh, an antagonist towards the order i mean there's outright assassination but that just in, that fuels the flame of, of takeover so that's less that's like not even like a last resort that's just desperation um any hostilities towards somebody who's walking righteous anybody who's nice any bullying that's seen as a weakness and the competitors the competition who's vying to be the bullies as well when when the head bully is is like acting like uh frivolous and and and, and petty and doing like little aggressions or whatever else the other bullies see them like oh they might they they they, they, they look scared what, what they what they were impressed about all that for and then they start to study and look at the details and say okay and then they position accordingly um because that's the nature of the game so that's one of the reasons why uh these types of things of putting out a price and additionally are beyond last resorts because even when that objective is accomplished there's the the, the the ones are weakened just like with i mean it's just the way the way the whole game of violence works people build kingdoms and empires well eh, like kind of lightweight sort of actually yeah people build kingdoms and empires by an act of an, one initial act of violence and then an ongoing threat of violence 
Um, and so that one act of violence might be heinous, whether it's the, 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 the bombs of Nagasaki and Hiroshima, or whether it's the little stone uh, slung by David. Uh, that one act of violence is, is established, and then from then, it's the threat of violence. Uh, and people acquiescing and falling in line based on that threat. There might be skirmishes, there might be uh, um, uh, things popping up here and there, but by and large, the order of large population is through the fear and the threat of violence. So, um, when and then when the bully actually commits the violence, then the bully is susceptible to reaction, even not just from the, 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 the immediate victim, the direct victim of the violence, but from all the competing bullies as well. Because uh, we look when we look at Rome, and, 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 and further, there's always the plots on, on Caesar uh, and, the, and the betrayals and, and the ambitions of the, of the number twos and threes. So that's, that's always gang. Even in the gangs, that's gang. So all that being said, price, keep the price low. Keep one's price low. The value high, price low. Um, so price low also means you know, not, not having a lot of things. Not, because when, when it's like an indirect kind of um, uh, assassination type thing, it's intended to framed as a robbery or some other pretense of, of, of money or otherwise of why somebody was done dirty. Oh, they went to the ATM machine and they, they pulled out this, that, and the other. Don't have that. I, th um, here, I have this computer, but uh, even don't have that. And it only has so much value. <laughs> but when people don't have a lot of things that people are jealous and, and coveting, then there's less incentive for people to take that price uh, to do something dirty to that person. Um, and when a person is known for not having things, again, the streets are watching, the streets keep an eye, the streets keep count. So anyways, there's that. So low price, being humble, walk, trotting this earth in a humble walk, um, not having things that people covet, um, not, not kicking up dust, being respectful towards women, being respectful towards wives, uh, not, not causing static in other people's relationships. Um, being respectful and further so that's all low budget that's staying low low uh, and and um, not having dependencies of not valuing not valuing oneself on riches and having to like continue to, to keep on to those things like or and by riches I'm talking about like expensive clothes expensive cars whatever else because all that has high maintenance costs um, and so those high maintenance costs are a liability in the game there's all different ways of manipulating and, and, and getting at somebody because of those liabilities. So low budget, low price, um, simple lifestyle, simple liberty, um, all that's part of it. And that also strengthens the trod. That, make, that, that further makes it honest, that further encourages kinfolk around oneself to be similar. And therein is further protection and safety. It's not an invincibility by any means necessary no I'm not trying to make jokes at this point um, it's not invincibility but there is a strength there is a constancy there is a, a genuineness with it beyond a person's intentions beyond a person's calculations because that's the nature of the game when one is walking honest humble even as I'm saying this trying to be humble endeavoring to be humble the, the nature of the game is like Gandhi talks about this and I've, I've shared this recently on other occasions when one is in that path and people see that, people come out the woodwork in support of that. You can't, you can't buy that, you can't plan for that, you can't calculate that. And so you can observe and, 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 and take note and, 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 and give all thanks and praise to the Most High because that's the machinery, that's the workings of the Most High. So anyways, they gonna, the streets done got me for my football. Uh, Stay having high value, low budget, and focus on the trod. Um, there's something else of significance that I think about sharing. I'll share something that I share with Kinfolk today, just uh, in person. And seriously, these, these joints gotta gotta close up. Um, one is uh, one is this, which is. Oh, okay, I, know, I remember another thing. Uh, one joint I share with kinfolk is, if you want blessings in this life, tend to the plants in your midst. I'm just going to keep it like that. Let it marinate. 
any Kim Clara questions on that one. Some people, I say that people, for some it hits immediate and they smile, pound up, and, and can walk on in this trod. Beautiful, all thanks and praise to the Most High. Some people say, what does that mean? And we have a little bit further convo and they're like, yo, beautiful, and, and, and pound up and walk on. All thanks and praise to the Most High. So that was one joint. The other joint is about the weather. Um, it's raining, oh, excuse me, it's, it's cold. It's cold, ah, oh, it's freezing, it's cold, complaining about the cold. Then all of a sudden the sun comes out and it shines and brightly day after day. Oh, this, it's so hot, it's so hot, ah, oh, da, 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 da. So then the rain comes and cools things off. Oh, it's raining, oh, I can't do anything, it's raining, it's all wet. So then the wind comes and blows away the rain clouds. And then, oh, oh it's so windy, oh, I can't do anything, it's so windy. So then it gets still and quiet and calm and oh it's so boring oh, I can't breathe it's so still and quiet and boring and so then crystals emerge snowflakes northern lights and then people say oh it's so cold it's so cold it's so cold that's the nature, that's the seasons, that's the cycles, that's the susceptibility. I share ours also before KKK, kill, capture, and kid. And not to be mad, to share and, and, and let go of the strings that bound others, that unwillfully and unlawfully so um, oh right okay that's this one for sure now I'm remembering because uh, when I said the lawfully haha -ha, that hit it that triggered it so then uh, as I'm walking up over here and I gotta be mindful because the computer is in the sunlight now and that's a little bit hot for it so we're gonna turn it on this way so we get some shade for the computer oh we're just so attentive to the to the technology so, as I'm, walk, as I'm uh, at the cross light, waiting to get to this vicinity, uh, there's a young, young blood, young brother sitting or standing next to me, waiting for light too. And then, and then I ask him a question about, um, does he, can he run track? And he kind of looked at me first, like, yo, yo, who are you talking to me? Da da da. But then he kind of like. Uh, kind of relaxed a little bit and just and just kind of like shook his head humbly and said, "Nah, I can't run track." Uh, and so now that was a big that was a, a big admission, and I didn't anticipate that. Didn't anticipate asking him the question, but it was extemporaneous. So he spit, says it honestly, "No, nah, I don't run track." And he said, "Yo," and I said to him, "Yo," the the light changed by that point. We got the green light to walk, and I said, "Yo, we gonna need to run track to cross this street." So he laughed because <laughs> he knows what I'm talking about. He knows the truth of what I just said. Uh, as we're in the midst of it. So we're crossing the street and he says, he laughs and he says, yeah, I know, I ha I, tell me about it. And I said, yo, man, the way they make this light, it's not, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's tenacious. And he's like, yeah. And I was like, and as I was, we were crossing, I pointed at the middle point and I said, there's been time when the light changes when I'm right here. And he's like, yeah, me too. And so now we're sharing this frame reference. Like, yo, we know what we're talking about. We're sharing the same experience. Um, and so, we pause after crossing the street and, and he's listening and, and, and sharing and recognizing what I'm saying uh, and we give all thanks and praise to the Most High um, for what I share, the initiative, but also for his responsiveness and, and strength and courage in responding uh, in, in an honest way and in, in a forthright way. So then I talk about how the people who, it, and I, 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 I draw to his attention that it's not by accident. Somebody made a specific decision about how long that light should be. Um, and, and I, and I, before I said that, I told him like, he, I, I, I sh invited him to recognize the fact that he is, 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 is a full body young man, maybe around 19 years old, 18, 19 years old. I'm a, a full body middle aged dude, 49 years old. My point is that we're walking very healthily at that moment, uh, and, and crossing the street and we have to be on guard about how quick the light changes. Uh, and so let alone elders who are walking with walkers and canes or children who frequently walk in this vicinity and cross that street. And he's like, yeah, man. So then when we got to the other side and we, and we stopped and, and uh, crossed the street, 
Uh, we stopped at the corner. He's going one direction, I'm going another direction. And so I mentioned to him, like, again, this is not an accident. It's not by happenstance. Somebody made a specific decision about how long that light should be and how long somebody should have to cross that traffic. Um, and I mentioned to him about how fast the traffic goes by. And the whole time he's like, yeah, man, he knows exactly what I'm talking about. He experiences exactly what I'm talking about. And not just him, but other kinfolk. Because I can see when he says, yeah, he's speaking from the collective experience. Um, so uh, the traffic here zips by and runs red lights, let alone stopping for green lights. So for somebody to make a decision that it causes people to be paused in the middle of the street and, and the light to change, they are oblivious at the very least to give them a benefit of any perceived doubt. They're oblivious to the experience and making decisions that are putting people's lives in literally in jeopardy. Um, and those individuals are very much most likely not walking this vicinity or even living in this vicinity, in this municipality. Um, and so that's what we draw our attention to, is that the people who are making the laws that govern the behavior do not live here and are not accountable to those decisions properly. And that is extremely problematic because we liken it to um, absentee fathers who have sex with women and have children with women and don't support those children. That's exactly the same thing as a lawmaker making a law governing the behavior of other people and not living in that municipality and living underneath that law. It's the same thing. It is irresponsible, um, it's irresponsibility and it's a violation of the sanctity of community. Just like men having extramarital affairs with other women and disrespecting women. Lawmakers who make laws governing other people and not living underneath those laws and amidst those people, that is doctrinal adultery. That is doctrinal fornication. Doctrinal fornication. We can call it legalistic fornication. We can call it governmental fornication. We can call it authoritarian fornication. We can call it codified fornication. Whatever. That's what it is. So, now who's strong enough to say and stand and do something about it? I'm going to leave it at that. So, that's one joint for today. Or some joints for today. Now, the further consideration is, what do folks think about? Folks think about Putin Bay as a city island of refuge, natural refuge, and righteous administration. Maybe a city, a, a minor city, and then around that city, a, a natural reservation. Ain't never been to Putin Bay. I've heard about it. Talk with Sistrin, who speak very fondly and favorably of Putin Bay. Um, don't know how big it is, but it's an island. And therein, there is a certain amount of distance from the dissonance. Um, so, anyways, that's further consideration. Bless, love, and peace. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there it is.